Last week at the budget announcement, uh, you heard that we increased home and community care by more than $200 million. This is an 11% increase. That's going to bring our funding for home and community care to more than $2 billion in the upcoming year. And the reason why we're doing this is because it means it's a better quality of life for the people who are uh, requiring additional supports. Those include the health services such as nursing uh, and personal care that we mentioned previously, as well as day programs and respite care and compassionate and palliative care as well. Uh, we have a team of three caregivers that uh, come in on shifts. A lot of the services you talked about, Minister, respiratory care, occupational therapy, mm -hmm. some of the other things that, that come into the house regularly. So for us, that's really meant that we could continue to have what some days feels like a normal life. Mm -hmm. Other days, it feels like a circus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we made a decision early on to stay in this neighborhood. We did renovations to the house. We've done a everything we could to stay here because we have a group of neighbors, we have friends, and um, and we just like the area. So um, a lot of these services have just allowed us to stay here and, and, uh, and live sort of a normal life, I guess, as close as we can come. ALS is a, a devastating disease, but it doesn't have to go as quickly, I don't think, if, if you've got more support and more normal environments to live in. I think, I think it actually extends our lives.